Hello again. So this is my third YouTube video uh, and this is another project that I've just completed or part completed like all of my projects. Nothing is actually finished yet. So what we've got here, I'll go through what we've got. Uh, this is the remnants of an old laptop which I dropped a few weeks ago and it was a bit of a shame because it was a really good laptop. But I couldn't be bothered to uh, go through the hassle of getting it fixed. Uh, I had a good go myself but uh, to no avail. So I decided to strip it of all of the valuable items. And one of the things I managed to uh, salvage was the screen, which is a 15.9 inch um, HD screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, I also managed to get uh, the speakers out of the laptop and a few other bits and bobs that I'm using in, in other projects. So all in all, not, not everything was lost. Anyway, so um, that's what really spurred this project on. Um, and also a YouTube video I saw on the Great Scott channel. That chap does great work, which I guess is what it's called, Great Scott. Uh, so thumbs up to that fella. Very good work. I shall be doing more of his projects. Um, so anyway, on with what this one is. So this is basically a digital photo frame. Uh, and I've, as I say, I've followed his tutorial. And I purchased a driver board for the said laptop screen, uh, which is this electronic board here and I ha also had an, an old Raspberry Pi knocking about and a Wi-Fi dongle and I thought actually that's a pretty good idea to do um, a digital photo frame which is actually a media center so it's able to play video as well as um, pretty much any photograph I've got on my network, my home network, uh, basically on my NAS in my garage. So uh, let's just have a quick look through this build. Uh, the, the frame that I've built is made from Sapili wood, uh, which I've never worked for, with before. It was quite difficult to work with at, at the beginning, but actually it's really nice wood. haven't done the greatest job in the world. It doesn't look terribly good on the back. The mitres are a bit poor, as you can see. Uh, it looks much better on the front, though, so hopefully you won't see any of this. Plenty of cable management to do as well. Uh, all of the insulation tape will be gone at some point, and the, all of the boards will be properly mounted to... Um, uh, some hardboard or some MDF or something, haven't decided yet. So a couple of interesting things in this project. So I am powering the board and the Pi from one supply, and it's a 12 volt supply. There it is. Uh, but the Pi runs on 5 volts, so I purchased a buck uh, step-down voltage regulator here, and I've wired the, uh, soldered the board in parallel at the input terminals here and here. Uh, 12 volts in, I've changed the uh, logarithmic potentiometer down to 5 volts out which is then soldered onto a micro HDMI cable which powers the Pi. Uh, I've also got the speakers from the laptop, I've epoxied those in as you can see and that's wired to a 3.5mm jack uh, which goes onto the board. Not got a bit working yet but that's uh, the next part of the project but it can't be far off. So anyway let's uh, power it up, see what it looks like and uh, yeah, give it a go. So powering on now. As you can see, the LEDs light up, the board is now booting, the Pi is booting, and you won't be surprised to see that I've thrown uh, Kodi on there, or XBMC as it used to be called, with OpenELEC, Open which is a great out-of-the-box distribution for this kind of thing. So the item's just booting up now, hopefully. Here it comes. It's pre-configured to my network. So as soon as this, this is in, and there it is, this is now on my home network, which is great. So I can play pretty much anything in terms of movies, home videos, uh, pictures. I can even get the weather. I'm currently controlling this item with an old Android uh, phone which my friend gave me which is great, works a dream and as you can see let's move that out of the way I have a fully functioning media centre pretty cool hey thanks once again to Great Scott cheers <laughs> 